Hello guys, Nigel here, Nigel from Nigel's Modeling Bench, and I'm back with you with another review. Um, today is Saturday, the 28th of um, September 2019, forgot what month it was there. And um, yeah, I've got a review for you today on a couple of products from a company called Metallic Details. Now this review is really all about the C5A Galaxy, or C5B Galaxy from Rodan, the uh, 144 scale. Um, these engines I'm going to show you today are for the C5A, C5B, the, obviously the C5M was upgraded with CF6 engines, so doesn't apply to that. But Metallic Details are a company that I've only recently come across, and go check them out. Um, go have a look at their website, or go onto Hanant's and just put Metallic Details in the manufacturing, look at all their stuff. They've got a range of 172nd, 148th, 144th. It's mainly aircraft, but if you dig around and look deep, there's some 72nd scale diorama stuff. There's some little tents and outhouses and bits and pieces. They do quite a large range of stuff. And I must say, very, very reasonably priced. For example, um, what I'm showing you here, this is the engine set for the Antonov AN225, you know, the big six engine um, transport plane from Revell in 144 scale. This is a set for that, so you got all your individual compressor stages for the first compressor stage and then you've got your final compressor stage there and then you've got your back of your turbine there going in the back of the engine and then you've got resin um, exhaust cones and intake cones as well so there you go all of that there from um from Hanans was 11 pounds 20. now i don't have that kit but i do have the am124 which has exactly the same engines and the parts are exactly the same so i can assure you you can get this for the am124 now he does a set for the am124 and it's like 10 pounds so for an extra one pounds 20 you get another two engines so if you've got a friend with a with a with an am124 he can buy this set as well and then you can both build another kit or whatever so but you know i'm, I'm all for uh, getting stuff cheap if i can i did actually reach out to um metallic details and ask if they would be interested in supplying any review samples and um, they did reply to me which was good which is more than could be said for rodan uh, but they did reply to me and they said that i had to buy quite a large batch so um, i thought well i'm not i'm not going to do that because i don't want to get in business selling stuff and i don't want to be stuck with stuff i can't sell so um so yeah, these are the fans and the detail parts for the um, for the AN225, and we can see there they're they're beautifully etched, and you've basically got to fold up all these fan blades. I'm thinking about trying to make a tool to do this. I've, I've got a little milling machine. I don't have a round table, but I can get one and see what I can do. I, I'm having to think about that. Um, but what I want to talk about today really is the C5 now. This is an engine assembly, as you can see, taped together for the C5 Galaxy from Rodan, or C5B Galaxy. If you get the C5M, you get the CF6 engines, and I think they're fine. These engines are okay, but the detail's a little um, shoddy. The, the, the fan detail in the front, you can see in there, is a little bit, um, is a bit plain. Um, and the, 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 the middle fan, the, the, the actual, um, engine compressor stage not the bypass stage which is around the outside is a lot more pronounced so what I did I took one stuck it up in the lathe and I turned the back of it until I could actually push it through so what I've actually done there is push that one through and got that look of the it, it's too far through actually but it's a lot more defined um, and what I'll do is I'll put a picture up now and you'll see what I mean there you go you can see that the actual center center fans are more pronounced than the outers that the Rodin have molded them um, the other problem with the Rodin kit is you've got these, all these lumps around the outside here, and they are supposed to be portraying blow-in doors. Well, what they've done is instead of engraving lines for the blow-in doors, they've got these lumps sticking out. And as you can see, the lumps aren't even even. It's like the mould is shifted. You can see on the top here, there's hardly any bulge at all. When we go to the bottom, there's a huge lump. So... You know they really are not good at all but the overall shape i think is okay uh, maybe that's a little bit too tapered there but um i'm sort of happy with the engine it's just this this front section i think that says uh that's, that needs replacement but also when you look in the back here 
you would in reality see through there you would see daylight going through there because that's just literally um, a few rows of compressor vanes which blow cold air around the engine so um there we go and then in the back in the turbine section you get a molded piece and I'll show you that here you just get a molded piece that goes in that's generally the sprue and you can see here, see here what I'm talking about where the the bulges are are all like sort of pronounced there and then there's nothing there at all and also the um this diameter on the back doesn't run through with the outside and what I found when I put it inside the engine to on one of them to get it to actually I can probably show you actually um is it that one or is it the other one there we go I can't get it to shift over enough to get it centered in the engine so I have to sand away some of this um spigot diameter here to enable me to get it to fit centrally in the engine so you know not um it, it's just rodent it's not uh, it's 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 nothing that can't be worked out um, and if you're not too fussed about these these steps on the outside you could just sand them off leave them plain glue it all together and there you go there's your engine done um, but I can't leave it at that when I saw these uh, this metallic detail set come out I had to get it now I'll put up an image now um, of the actual resin engine itself and when you compare it to this one you can see that the in my opinion at least I think they've got the actual um, cowling of the engine too round it's too sort of bullet shaped and it should be more parallel so there's a picture of the real engine and here's a picture of the metallic details engine okay and then you can look at this and you can see this is the actual engine from Roden so my plan is to use a combination of this which is the metallic detail set MDR 14410 and the plastic parts to end up with a lovely looking engine so I haven't actually looked in here yet so it's come this morning I got it from Hannant's and it was £24.80 from Hannant's so what have we got here we've got a bag of resin pylons which are nice and they look to be they're not I thought they were going to be a direct copy of the uh, of the rodent parts but they don't appear to be oh they might be actually they might be and then we've got here we've got our exhaust cones let's get these out of the bag <clears throat> what have we got in here so we've got these are some spindles by the look of it we'll have a look at that in a second and then we've got our exhaust cones here and when you compare those to the to the road and parts you can see they go in a lot deeper and they've also got more detail around them Around the outside so when you look at the back of the engine you're going to see more detail so that's those there and then these are going to be the intake cones at the front so that's going to be like that part there okay so that's all very nice we'll cast in a gray resin can't see any bubbles or anything so um, all nicely cast and can't really see any damage on them either which is cool it is actually very well packaged to be honest it's all in these little baggies and and then uh, packed down on top with this little baggie here there's the pylons we've seen those then this is going to be the rear part of the engine or the rear part of the compressor stage and as we can see like I'm talking about it seems to have too much taper on it if you compare that to the to the road and engine it looks like it has too much taper to me so I don't know what's happened there I think somebody's got confused with the um, CF6 engine perhaps which does have a more tapered rear cone but um, I don't really want to use that I want to stick with the with the actual um, rodent parts I think I'll try and use a combination of the two and then here we've got the intakes now these looking at the images are lovely and we can see there yeah we've got some lovely detail on there I can get the catch it in the light you can see we've got the blow indoor detail all engraved on there all cast in resin all lovely and the mold plug looks like an easy cut off job as well now this cowl appears to be longer yes it is it's longer than the actual um rodent kit part so what we will have to do here is you basically have to sand this back 
if you wanted to use just this on the road and engine sand it back until it fits on the front there and um, I'll probably do a video on uh, how I do this when I decide what I'm actually going to do and, and when I can decide what's actually going to work and then finally <clears throat> for the resin parts we've got the the actual engine turbine and, comp and uh, combustion stages cowlings we can see there so oh, I've got the plug on there if I cut that plug off the back nice hard resin as well you heard the proper clunk there so that's just going to sit in there like so so we can see that's uh, that's very nice indeed and we can see here that we've got this is the actual back back section of the engine and there you can see it's the same so we could perhaps try and we I don't know I'll decide what I'm going to do when I get there but I just don't like the where is it this cone bit here is, is too in fact it may only be too tapered on the top looking at it there we square it up no it is it's too tapered so maybe heat it up and just open it out I don't know but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so that's the uh, resin parts all dealt with and then we've got this little sheet of photo etch here which has got a slightly bent corner but not to worry and then we've got our uh, compressor stages here this is going to be our first stage compressors and then it looks like we've got another lot of them there so it looks like you've got the choice of using this or that over that we'll have a look at the instructions in a minute and then we've got these turbine blades at the back here which are going to go in over that uh, cone by the look of things and then we've got these rings here which are going to be the snubbers between the first stage compressor veins so we'll have a look at the instructions now and see but you can see it's all um, lovely the etching very very nice indeed very very sharp and you know like I say this set here was £24.80 so you're getting all that all that resin let's get the engine out of the way this is what you're getting for £24.80 and if that's not reasonable I don't know what is it's fantastic value and that's the, the I'm quoting the Hannans price by the way and if you think that was a bargain wait till I show you something in a minute so we've got simple little instruction sheet it's just one side printed so what we've got here okay so this is showing you fitting the the turbine stage at the back so we're going to put that small photo etched ring of veins there into the back of the engine and then put the exhaust cone in we're going to fit that exhaust cone onto the pylon and it looks like that's that little part that I pointed out here these it looks like they are going to glue onto the front of yeah we've got a mark in there so they are going to glue into the front of there so we're going to sand that tiny little mold, mold plug off and then glue that on there and then fit that cowl around the outside and then you're going to fit you're going to bend all these veins out we're going to fit that row of veins in behind then we're going to fit this row here in front of that with the um, snubber ring behind it and then we're going to fit the other row of veins in front of that so we're going to end up with two lots of veins on the front so it's going to look very very nice um, and as, you, as I say if you go onto the uh, Hannett's website you'll see some built up uh, images of it and if I think of it I'll put a picture up for you now so there we are guys um, I will be building this kit and I will be building it online and when I've worked out exactly what I'm going to do I shall uh, basically um, basically show you what I do I may even remanufacture these parts to more accurate more accurately represent this and then actually use my parts instead of these so we shall see but um because I've got a lathe and everything I can do all that it's not a problem or even just heat these up stretch it out get it to the right shape and then take a mold off it but um yeah really really impressed and for £24.80 it's a bargain it's going to look incredible with all those veins up front and as I say the, the big thing about these engines is when you look down the intake here you will see daylight around that outer ring of veins you will see daylight 
and with this setup that's exactly how it looks. When you look at your model front on, you'll see daylight, so it'll look fantastic. Um, I've just got one more thing to show you, again from Metallic Details. If we look at the tail cone of the C5, Rodan have got it here moulded, and it looks to me to be very, very pointy and very, very sharp. It shouldn't be that shape at all, it should be more rounded off, so you kind of think to yourself, what I'll do is I'll just fill it up in there with some epoxy, and then I'll sand this to the right shape, and then go from there. But metallic details have come to the rescue with the MDR 14411 tail section. And there's your complete <laughs> documentation you get with it, but you don't need much more. Here you can see we've got the correctly shaped resin tail cone with all the um, dispensers and everything on there and the, and the uh, antenna. And everything is beautifully moulded and beautifully uh, engraved. Just got to pop out that bit of flash in there, which will be no issue whatsoever. As you can see, we just pop that through with the back of the knife. And that's that gone. And then we've got a photo etch panel, which goes inside to represent the, um, the mesh. There we go, that's going to go that way around. So that's just going to glue inside there to represent the mesh we're looking through. So I should be able to just basically cut this off here or at least fold it. So we can fold that back like that and then what we're going to see is up inside there we're going to see the the mesh coming through like that. Okay now this is for me a no-brainer as an upgrade for the for the cone that they give you in the kit. If nothing more than the hole with the mesh in. This is actually an unpressurized area of the aircraft. Um, that maybe explains why it's got the mesh there. Now, this upgrade, obviously, is this piece of resin, okay, and this piece of photo etch. Any guesses how much it costs? From Hannans in the UK, you, you can get that upgrade for £2.70. Yes, £2.70. I certainly wouldn't want to make that and photo etch that grill and bag it all up and everything and sell it for £2.70. So if you've got this kit or if you're planning on getting it, I would get onto Hannans and buy one. There's probably some error in the pricing there, I think. <laughs> but uh, yeah, £2.70. I've seen them on eBay for like £9. So get yourself over onto Hannans. They're £2.70. As I say, MDR 14411 for the uh, C5 tail. For the, the, the tail. And that applies to the M and the B. So uh, yeah, maybe I'll get an order another one. So um, there we go, guys. That is basically a quick review of Metallic Details products and, and the C5 engine upgrades. Unfortunately, like I say, we've got this bit of a shape issue, I think, but um, nothing's insurmountable. We can use a combination of kit parts and these parts, and I'm sure we can uh, get what looks like a really, really good looking engine out of it at the end of the day. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Um, I'm going to be getting back to, hang on. You can see here is the C141, the star lifter, and I did actually do some sanding and I've put some more Mr. Surfacer on. Um, if you remember, I said I got to leave this for a couple of days at a time and let it all dry back. Uh, and already I can feel there's something there where it shrunk back. So um, what I'll do today, I'll start another video on this, which will be part eight. I'll get some sanding done, then I'll get some primer on it, and then I'll put it down for a couple of days and then we'll come and look at it, see if it shrunk back or whatever and go from there and then once we're all happy that everything's right then we'll look at scribing some detail in and then we'll look about getting the whole thing primed up and painted so um yeah she's looking good she's looking really good maybe she'd look better with c5 engines rather than the little things that it's got but i don't think they'll yeah they'll, they'll drag on the ground a bit so there we go <laughs> anyway i'll see you all soon guys bye for now